So, hey everybody, this is Ernie Hatmaker, and it's about 39 degrees outside. We just got a uh, frost, which is kind of weird, because we haven't really been having frost. It's just been cold, and so um, I'm thinking that we've got one more tomorrow, and then that's supposed to be our last frost, because it was supposed to be on the 26th or 27th, so... Um, I mean, I looked it up on the Farmer's Almanac page or whatever and put in my zip code, and it's supposedly correct, so uh, we'll see. But I'm going to start putting out plants soon um, that aren't already out, so I just want to show you today what I've been doing out here in preparation for this new uh, <laughs> setup I've got going. First, um, I've got black plastic out here, which this black uh, sheeting is only going to be up for a little while, and then I'm going to have to move it. This is going to be good to kill the weeds that are growing up now, and then I can move it. Um, I've got a little, um, this is actually rabbit wire. Uh, most people use it for rabbit cages or to keep rabbits out of the garden. It's not a true trellis, uh, not like the cattle panels over there. I've got, um, look at that, it just needs to be watered a little bit more, um, but the rest of these are uh, mustard greens and some spinach, and I just kind of put them in here because I knew they'd do okay out in the, the cold. They're thirsty, but <laughs> um, the ones that reseeded from last year are up. Um, this is still going to be a cucumber area. I think um, we might switch it out and just put some kind of beans to grow up because I'm not doing a whole lot of squash this year. Um, but yeah, this um, kale and mustard greens over here have kind of come up on their own and you can see the bugs are loving those. I took up that uh, mesh fencing there um, that was in this area where I had grown gourds. You can see the broken ones that I just kind of left out here. Um, it'll be cleaned up a little bit more. Um, something you may notice, this used to have a row of pallets where I was growing mostly cabbages and kales, and, um, this, this time I decided to kind of shorten my area of growing and focus on, um, certain things, and so that's why that is down there, um, with the, uh, where I'm gonna have my peas or beans or whatever, um, and the only other things that are going to remain from that are these flowers here, um, the African daisies, which had grown outside the pallets that I planted them in anyway. And it looks like they're starting a third row, but I'm not going to let that live. I'm just going to kind of uh, put some kind of um, either landscape wall or edging or something like that. Here again, um, this was where I had Roma tomatoes, and I've got more black plastic out to kill what, what few weeds grew up here. Um, this is going to uh, house some um, peas, because most of my tomatoes are going to stay either in containers or around the, the cattle panels out there. Look at them. These are the Ozark Beauties. And they will not die. <laughs> they won't die. They jumped from this bed where I actually planted them. I think I told you about this last year. To this one here. Whatever else we had. That other plants didn't do as well. And I'm going to go ahead and move the other A-frames. And just let um, that one stay by itself. But I'm going to um, hopefully finish uh, my cinder block moving really soon today um that's my goal anyway to m go ahead and, and make that bed up and that bed then will basically shrink and i'll take this landscape edging out and um i'm not sure what i'm gonna what i'm gonna do about these weeds other than probably just mow them over because they'll be basically lawn again and in case anybody was interested in how peppermint forest is going, I've managed to um, keep peppermint forest in this uh, um, six by three area 
which is very difficult to do, by the way, because peppermint really wants to go everywhere. But um, back in September, I started pulling some of the vines back, and it hasn't brought it back up past that certain spot. I've got mullen growing in places I did not plant it, which, you know, that's what mullen does. And um, something that's beautiful, my comfrey came back. I was not expecting it to come back, but it came back. Um, and I've already got little flowers kind of starting to set on it. So I'm impressed with that. There's a couple more of comfrey. Um, I'm going to keep the mullen in here, uh, mainly because it's supposed to be an herb bed and it's medicinal herbs. You know, I use comfrey medicinally and I use mullen medicinally. So it's actually, um, actually here's probably going to be some more mullins <laughs> that, that uh, stalk of seeds right there um i want to open up these beds and i said i was going to do it and then we found yellow jackets and they changed my mind <laughs> so we're probably going to do that um while it's still kind of chilly out over here i'd originally had sage and catnip growing in this bed and nothing is growing now except a little bit of sage and um some mullen i didn't plant and of course you know what i consider weeds and so i'm just considering taking this out completely or maybe stacking them up on top of each other and restarting this bed so i've got um two things of grow lights in here and i've got a little heater plugged up so that um they're staying um an easy easy breezy 60 degrees in here and these things like it um, there's tomatoes and peppers mixed in um, and these are starting to fall over because they're actually um, indeterminate and they're ready to go uh, I need to water some of them before they fall out of their uh, cups but anyway um, I'm also going to prune a, a few of them before I plant them, but we're going to have warm, warm weather in the, in the next couple of days, and then out they go. Hopefully, it doesn't drop below the 40s after that so that these plants can all have a, a chance. So anyway, that wraps up my changes, um, what few there are <laughs> that I'm going to be making. Um, they seem few, but they're actually quite large. Um, changes because I'm trying to go for a little bit more uh, permanent. Um, some of these are legacy minded where they're going to stay pretty much forever. Maybe I'll change the wires out or no wires, <laughs> you know, the wire fencing and that kind of stuff out. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.